Hey, uh, Human Click Funnel Support here. So in this video, I'm just going to go over how we can configure and use the button element. I currently have a symbol page set up. We don't have any content on it yet. So we'll begin by adding a new element. We can click form to get a subsection of just the form related elements. We'll add in a button. Then we can get into the settings by clicking on the element or by hovering over it and then clicking on the gears icon. Inside the settings, there's a number of things that we can adjust beginning with the top margin. We can use edit action to choose what we want the button to actually do. We can alter the button headline text. We can also add a subtext if we want. We can choose a font family. We can adjust the size of the font. We can also configure a font size for mobile independently. And we can do the same thing for the subheadline text, adjusting the size. And if we want, adjusting the mobile size independently. We can choose a text color. And we can also alter the background color itself. If we want, we can click on the themes tab to choose from a pre-built theme. We can also click on the advanced tab to manually configure various options. By default, the styles tab is going to be pre-selected. We can set a button width from fluid, which will be based on the size of the element or, or the text inside of the element or fill width, which will fill all of the available space. In this example, I'm using a one column row, so it is filling the entire row. If I did have a multi-column row though, it would fill the entire column in which it was placed. We can choose inline slash block to have it display centered versus um, permanently inline. That will override the um, button alignment if we have that set as well. We had it if we have it set to uh, to inline we can choose a style from custom or flatline which will just give us uh, an outline we can adjust the vertical space that will be added to the top and the bottom and we can do the same thing for the horizontal space which will be added on each side we can adjust the roundness of the corners going all the way up to 15 pixels, 50%, or just a square. We can set a border. We can add shadows to the box itself, to the text. We can use text transformation to quickly change all of the text. So setting it to all uppercase, for example, all lowercase, or all capitalized. We can adjust the letter spacing if we want, making it much larger or even a little bit smaller. If we want, we can choose icons as well. The first option, Icon Picker, we'll add it on the left side. And we can choose a Icon Picker after, which will appear on the right side. We can choose a button effect if we want, which will animate the button. And we can adjust the button alignment, choosing from left, right, or center. We can get a few other options by clicking on the animation tab. We can set a time delay choosing fade in or fade in with scale. If we set this to 1 minute and 30 seconds for example, the element will not actually appear on the page until 1 minute and 30 seconds after the page has been loaded. We can set a animation choosing on page load or on page scroll. On page load will take effect 
as soon as the page is loaded. On page scroll will only take effect when the element in question comes into view for the user. From there, we can choose a style and we can set a delay in milliseconds. So hopefully this helps clear things up a little bit in terms of how you can use and configure the button element. If you do have some more questions though or anything like that, definitely go ahead and let us know in support chat.